G'day guys, and welcome back to Cold Waters. It's your captain here, Captain Carter. And we are back on the hunt for some submarine tenders again. Uh, let's go quickly check our brief before we do anything. Uh, review the orders. Our intelligence has discerned a pattern of movements of enemy at sea replenishment tankers and tenders. A small enemy force, including one or two of these ships, is expected to sail from Archangelsk momentarily for a rendezvous somewhere in the Barents Sea. And the Barents Sea is up here. So there's a submarine. There's a wolf pack up there. Now, where's our tenders? We've got to get ourselves up here and hopefully without being detected. As being detected would be bad. There they are. That's them. They're going too slow to be to be anything to be other service ships. They've got to be tenders. Now we've got to go and get them before they run away. There they are. Barrent C and five knots. Got them. Oh, go away. What a load of crap. I was right on top of them. Now you want me to freaking sink cruise missile submarines. I'm gonna guarantee the tenders are still up here. No. no that sub that subs there were moving in a bloody big hurry. Alright, we have new sound of contact bearing 262. Designate Sierra 1. In that case. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Let's try and find Sierra 1. Now we're only in 500 feet of water here. I don't like it being so shallow. No, you're not a trawler. If I go the other way, actually, it'll probably be... Ooh, you're not a typhoon. I'd love to come across a typhoon. That would just be too much fun. I say you're a Romeo. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. Now, how many other submarine contacts are down here? He's going beyond below the layer, so guess what, pal? We are also going to go. Make depth four zero zero feet dive by. Actually, we'll make three hundred feet. We'll go just below make the layer. Make depth three zero zero feet dive by. Right. Uh, got to find this guy. It is fairly quiet up on the surface and this guy's just hanging down just below the layer. I'm hoping that we're going to catch him. Right, passing through the layer now. We are now below the layer. We are getting a bit of a better solution on him now too, which is good. We need to find out if he's alone and I'm hoping that he is. That being said, he was banging along quite quickly on that map. He wasn't going slow at all. So hopefully we're now nice and quiet. My goodness, seven and a half thousand yards. He's getting close. 45%. Come on. 48%. I'd like for him to get a little bit closer before I do anything and get a bit of a better read on him. Con, dive at three, zero, zero feet, dive by. Thank you, dive. The longer we just stay here and listen to him, the better off we're going to be. He's hiding below the layer, so he doesn't quite... Oh, he might be trying to get a read on us, but I doubt it. Seven and a half thousand yards. I'm going to take a snapshot in his direction. Righto, let's give this a shot. Firing point procedures. Tube 1. Bearing 258. Range to enable 6,500 yards. Shoot tube 1. Shoot tube 1. I heard. Because it's fairly quiet, I'm going to leave this torpedo on passive sonar only. I 
not going to send it to active. There's our very sexy submarine, and there's our very schmexy torpedo buzzing its way through the ocean. Now we've got a little bit to go. Okay, we're now up to a good firing percentage. So we're, yeah, actually we were actually bang spot on. It's now 65%. We should now actually see him. There he is there. Oh, look, it's a Romeo. It's a little diesel submarine. I do... I, I think the diesel submarines of of the USSR were actually quite quite decent looking boats, so I was about to call them ships and then I realised they're not ships, they're boats. We're actually travelling fairly parallel to him. So if he's listening for me, although I'm running ultra quiet, he may very well be able to hear me, but he hasn't indicated that he can hear me just yet. And he's certainly not making any invasive manoeuvres to say that he's heard this torpedo coming. So we're just going to stay here with him until we see some sort of movement. At the moment, he's just going straight and level. But I reckon all that's about to change as soon as that torpedo hones in on him. And if I send it to active, I'm going to watch him run like hell. Torpedo should be going active right about now. Gone. Fire control. Weapon acquired. Torpedo is now locked. No change in bearing or sink rate of the Romeo. There's our torpedo. Still no change. He is accelerating, however. But he's making no changes to his course. Um, see you, Romeo. Down you go, buddy boy. There we are, you know, stealthily slipping our way through the ocean like a sea snake. <laughs> and... Down you go. Kadoosh. <laughs> now, is there anyone else out here? No, there's not. Leave combat. Woohoo! One Romeo, and I only used one torpedo. Yeah, that wasn't my mission objective. Yeah, sue me. Alright. So, there's missile submarines on their way out here, but where are they? There they are. That'll be them. And five knots. Boom. New SADAR contact bearing 109. Designate Sierra 1. Let's find these guys. Uh, it's the 3rd of January 1985 as well, guys, so it's a new time, a new year. Where's our contact? There he is. Okay, let's classify this sucker. That could be an echo. Definitely not a third love, and we're in surface vessels now, so that's got to be an echo. I don't think I've had an echo before, have I? Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Thank you, rig for silent running. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Oh, wrong button. That didn't do anything? No, it didn't good. That looks suspiciously like an echo. It's not a Charlie, it's not an Oscar. It's definitely not a typhoon. Con sonar new contact bearing Whoa, zero hello. eight seven designated Sierra two. Yeah, well that that's definitely wrong as is that one. Mind you, Sierra one is getting awfully bloody close. We should be hearing him very loud and clear now. I reckon he's an echo. I reckon he's an echo. No, he's not. He's not an echo. He's an alpha. Oh shit. Con sonar Sierra one is classified as submerged submarine. And you're an Oscar. 
Con Sonar Sierra 2 is classified as submerged submarine. I've got very good range on that Alpha. He's up near the surface at the moment. Uh, our surface conditions are like 88 decibels, it's quiet up there. Yeesh. 71%. He's going to be damn near in front of us. I don't want to try and spook him because he's quick and he will fight. And that's definitely an Oscar. That Alpha's getting a very good reading at the moment. 81% hit 85, buddy. Bingo. 86%. That'll do me. Firing point procedures. Tube 1. Bearing 130. Range to enable 4,000 yards. Shoot tube 1. Tube 1. I sir. Shoot tube. He's gone active. He's cavitating. He's cavitating. You heard that torpedo. Did he snap one off? I don't think he did. Con sonar. Sierra 2 is cavitating. And so is the Oscar. The Oscar's legging it. Righto. Uh, tube 2. Firing point procedures. Bearing 0903. Range to enable 5,500 yards. Shoot tube 2. Shoot tube 2. Aye, sir. Tube 1. That's our torpedo. That's our torpedo. Okay, we've only got two torpedoes tracking. They haven't fired one off at us yet because they can't hear us. Where's that Oscar? I have to find that Oscar. He's just as bad as this Alpha. Now that Alpha is now legging it as fast as he can. He's doing 36 knots. He's bucked it. 38 knots. Pretty sure 38 knots is his maximum speed. He's actually faster than Los Angeles last time I checked. Yeah, he's legging it. And he's cavitating, he doesn't give a, he doesn't Con, give a damn a hammer control. train. Weapon acquired. Right, Torpedo 1 has locked and he's chasing him down. Righto, what about Torpedo number 2? Where's that Oscar? Alphas were friggin' hunter killers, they're not, they're not cool, they're very nasty. I'm actually surprised we haven't, we haven't bumped into a typhoon yet. Actually, believe it or not, all friggin' all of the alphas are actually being tight retired. So, um, but they are nuclear powered subs. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of research real quickly here while we wait for this guy to die. There's the Oscar. Uh, tube two needs to be moved. Tube 1, however, is locked onto that Alpha. He's actually capable of doing... F bloody how many knots? Submerged? 41 knots. He's actually doing 42 at the moment. He's legged it. But the torpedo is slightly faster. That Oscar is definitely moving in that direction. That other torpedo should acquire him momentarily. Torpedo's going to get right into his baffles any second now. Yeah, that Oscar's turned around and he's running too. He wants nothing to do with the torpedoes. Although I don't think the Oscar is quite as Con, fast. Fire control, weapon acquired. Right, that's torpedo number two locked. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. No, it's not. He's going to get an awfully big surprise in a second when he realizes this torpedo is going to relock onto him. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. He's moving. Look at him go. Now I've lost him because of the, because of the noise maker. However, the torpedo has not lost him. Con, sonar lost contact. Alpha's dead. Sierra, one. Last bearing, one. Four. Three. Whoa. Contact breaking up. You're nasty. You're huge. Mate. You've succeeded by the sverting, so I don't think you're in that. Oscar 2. I think these were built around the same time. Oh, he's surfacing. Oh, dude. Bad move, dude. He's trying to surface. He's going to try and run on the top. He's going to look huge once he's out of the water. There he goes. Although, bad news for him... It's not going to do him much good, because watch what happens in a second here. 
torpedo. Right, firing point procedures, tube three, actually. Can we snap off a missile at him real quick? Or is he going back down? Three. Oh, shit. Aye, sir. Con, fire control, unable to fire. Shit. I need to send that torpedo active real quick. Weapons. Guidance. Activate. Right, he's going to chase down that Oscar. Although, I might load a surf, uh, bloody surface to air missile at the moment. Uh, dive, set your depth to five zero feet. Make depth five zero feet, dive by. Set it to 4-5 feet, periscope depth. Uh, reload tube 2 with a torpedo. Tube 3 is active and is homing. I don't think they're awfully quick. Interestingly enough that he surfaced, because he's only capable of doing about 15 knots on the surface, but he's banging along at about 22 at the moment. He's capable of 32. Oh, room. Tube 1 ready. Tube 1 ready. Bring us up to 50 feet and we will lift ourselves on up. Because this guy's not going to be able to fight up against a missile. And this torpedo is hot in this trail. Alright, approaching 50 feet. The Oscar is still on the surface, so he's now going to be attempting repairs. Bad news. Con, torpedo okay. room, tube two ready. Do I just let this torpedo get him? Do I let the torpedo get him, or do I sink him with a missile just to be even cooler? Shits and giggles. Dive at four, five, eight, dive Firing five. point procedures, tube one, bearing zero, five, zero, range to enable 12,000 yards, shoot tube one. Shoot tube one, aye sir. There goes our missile. Missile's active. Right, there goes its booster. It's gonna be bad news for this guy, because if the torpedo doesn't, didn't kill him, the missile will. And he's not going to be able to run for a missile. The missile is now active. Very shortly. Boom. Missile active. And... Con sonar lost contact. Oh. Sierra 2. Last bearing. Zero. Five. Zero. Contact breaking up. Whoa, he's sinking fast too. Con, torpedo room. Two point ready. Just for added security, that torpedo is going to seek to seek out to him as well. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. <laughs> That's funny. Well, hey, I made sure he wasn't going to go anywhere in a big hurry. Boosh. <laughs> and he's rolled over as well. And my torpedo is still homing, unless it hits the seafloor first. Which is a very good chance of. Yep. Seafloor. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that any day of the week. Cool, Oscar and Alpha sunk. It's good. Uh, congratulations on the job well done. Sinking those subs keeps our boys safe. Await further orders on this downlink. Not bad, not bad at all. Sub killers. Yeah, that's right. We gotchas. Ooh, hello. Ooh, intelligence estimates indicate that enemy Spetsnaz commandos will land from submarine in the vicinity of Trondheim in Norway. They intend to report our submarines and perhaps sabotage a naval base. You are ordered to intercept and eliminate before we land. Ooh, okay. Trondheim in Norway. Uh, Continue, of course. Where the hell's Trondheim? Down there. Jesus. Let's hope our patrol planes can pick them up before they actually get there. I think we'll kill these guys, and I think then we'll be on our merry way. We're just going to hang around Trondheim. And if we can, I want to try and get them further off the coast, but I need all these overflights to actually get fairly close. Where are they? Where are they? That's not them. That's them. The thing is, these planes are going to keep them fairly well spotted. And boom. 
New Sail contact bearing 082, designate Sierra 1. And we've already got a 22% firing solution on it as well. Excellent. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Um, but don't do it until you've reloaded that tube there. Yep. Okay, Sierra 1. What are you? You're going to be diesel. You're going to be diesel because they need something to surface and get them very, very close to the beach. You're a whiskey. I thought you might be. Con sonar. Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. He's well below the layer, but he is coming up. I could snap a very quick shot off at him, but I haven't got a really good Con, read on him. Torpedo room, tube three ready. I'm getting a very good read on him very shortly, though. We're going to come north, or north northeast. I know. Uh, we saw him. Ring ship for ultra quiet. We'll stick on a heading of 050. I think we're going to get this guy pretty quickly. What's our surface conditions? 81 decibels. It's quiet. It's good. 35% shooting solution. I could just lose a torpedo right now. And chance it. I think we will, as a matter of fact. Firing point procedures. Tube 1. Bearing. 085. Range to enable. 5,000 yards. Shoot tube 1. Shoot tube 1. Aye, sir. Whiskey is going to have a hell of a bad time very, very shortly. I reckon he's on about that heading. I reckon that plot is actually pretty damn close. Now, the reason why I've enabled that weapon so short is just because if he gets closer and then I don't realise it, I'm at least going to notice. Now, he's going back down. I'm going to try and match him a little bit here. Um... Dive, set you to 300 feet. Make depth 3, zero, zero feet, dive by. Oh no, down we go. He is moving very, very slowly and he's moving towards us. He's going to get a hell of a shock when this thing locks on. 2,000 yards to enable. I'm hoping at that point in time we can actually get a bit of a better read on him. It is getting slowly better. One thousand, one thousand to active. Come on, baby. I reckon that torpedo was bloody spot on. He is moving our way very, very slowly. Gone. Fire control. Weapon acquired. He is about to get a very rude wake-up call. Because he was heading our way as well. What's he doing? He was very close. His torpedo is about to find him real quick. Sierra, one, last bearing, zero, eight, seven, contact breaking up. And that's why I like this submarine. Because it's freaking really good. <laughs> Excellent. No more spetsnats. Oh, I like it when that goes, whoa. Oh, this is a cool one. Right. I think we might leave it here, and I think we might come back to this. Because I think we're going to have a ton of fun with this, because we are going to do a land attack. Oh, yes. Right, well, this should be fun. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, guys. If you haven't done so already, I want you to hit that, I want you to hit that subscribe button. Torpedo that like button while you're at it. And leave a comment on this video as well. I love comments. If you've got any questions, I will answer them. I've been Captain Carter. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys later.